Are you having trouble getting your images from here to here? Are you tired of multiple steps to get your images from your memory card into Luminar Neo? Would you love to know a faster way how to do it? If you said yes to any of those questions, then this is the video for you. I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor, and in this video tutorial, you'll learn how to quickly and easily get your images from your memory card into Luminar Neo. So if you're ready to learn the hassle-free way of importing your new images, let's get started. When you are using Luminar Neo, there are several different ways to add or import your images. You can simply click Add Photos and navigate to where they are located. However, that doesn't copy them from one location to the other. It just indexes them wherever they currently reside. Likewise, if you click Add a Folder, you can do that and add a folder of images that already exists on your hard drive. But what if you have brand new images on a memory card that you need to copy from here over to your hard drive and then get them into Neo? Usually that involves two steps. You have to either copy them or drag them and drop them from your card to your hard drive and make a place for them. And then you have to import into Neo but there's a handy shortcut. Let me show you how it works. The first thing you need to do is open Luminar Neo and decide where you want to put your new photos. I recommend having a master folder called pictures or photos or something like that. Then you could sort all of the images you add into subfolders based on either date or category, whatever you choose. In my case, I have one called photos here. The next thing you need to do is create the subfolder. So right click on the main folder or the one that's just above where you want to put the new one and choose new subfolder. You'll see it pops up and you can just give it a name. I'm going to call mine Sacred Land, which is the name of the place where they were taken. Next, if you haven't already done so, put your memory card into your card reader. I highly recommend using a dedicated card reader instead of plugging the camera in directly to the computer. You'll get a faster download speed and less chance for errors. Once your memory card has been mounted and is readable by the computer, go back to the subfolder you just created, right click and choose the first option, import photos to this folder. You'll see a dialog box that looks something like this. Make sure that these options here are visible. If it says show options like this, click it because you need to be able to set these three parameters. This is very important. So don't miss this step. Now you just need to navigate to your memory card. Go over to the side menu and you'll find your memory card. It might be called your camera name or untitled. Typically, inside of the memory card folder, you'll find some subfolders. I recommend going down into the subfolders on the memory card until you can see the images. Now let's take a look at these options below. The first option, Import To, should show the name of the subfolder that you just created. If you decide you want to put them somewhere else though, you can just click this menu and choose another folder. Other, for example. I'm going to stick with the one I just made. The next option is Action. When you click the pull down menu, you'll see there are two choices here, copy or move. I recommend never using the move option, always copy. Whenever you do a move, you have more chances of something going wrong and your images getting damaged or lost in the transfer. So I highly recommend that you use copy. The last pull down menu allows you to choose how you want the images organized. I recommend into one folder. That means it will take the images from the memory card and put them into the new folder that you just created with no extra subfolders. If you choose the second option, keep existing folder structure, it's going to pull the folder name that's on the card and add it as a subfolder, which we don't necessarily want or need. You can also choose to organize by date if you want. 
Personally, I like to choose into one folder. It'll give me a nice clean organization with no extraneous subfolders. I also leave this box unchecked. But you can decide how you want to organize and what structure you want to use. This is my recommended workflow. The next time you use add images to folder and this pop-up box comes up, it'll have the same options that you've got set now. So it remembers what you did last time and brings those settings forward. So all you have to do is set it once and then keep it the same. So let's hit import and see how long it takes. That didn't take long at all. Now you can see the images, and if we look at the structure on the hard drive, we can just right click and choose show in finder. It would say explore if you're on Windows. Here you can see the photos master folder and the new subfolder with the images. There's a couple of really important steps that you need to do after your import. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video and I'll give you those bonus tips. So let me ask you a quick question. Have you used this workflow before? I only recently discovered this little trick and I've been using Luminar Neo and teaching it for two years. So if this is new to you and you're wondering why you didn't know this before, you're not alone. Let me know in the comment area below if you've used this little trick or not and if it's new to you, if you're going to use it from now on. How much easier is this going to make your life? Earlier, I quickly mentioned that these are the raw files that are provided to students who are enrolled in our Luminar Neo, the complete course. If you'd like more information about the course, there's actually two free lessons available for you to preview if you'd like to check it out and see what it's like before you commit to purchasing it. I'll put a link for you in the description area below on how you can see the preview lessons. If you get a lot of value from the lessons, then you'll know whether or not to sign up for the course. When you do, you get all of my raw files and step-by-step -step instructions on how to use every single tool in Luminar Neo and how to do some advanced things like masking, using layers, fixing color and tonal problems, and more. Check it out now. Okay, remember I mentioned the bonus tips, what to do after you've imported your images. When you are done your import, just go to the memory card and make sure you eject it before you remove it from your card reader. On Mac, I can just click this icon here or right click and choose eject. Think of your memory card as a little mini hard drive, which it is. So in order to remove it safely, always use the eject option. That will help extend the life of your memory card so that you don't get errors when you're using it in the camera, which can cause corrupt or lost images. Then before you prepare your card for reformatting, always make sure that you back up your images and your Luminar Neo catalog. Then reformat the card back in the camera and you'll be good to go for your next photography outing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And if you remember to turn on notifications, you'll never miss another one of my videos. So till next time, take care and happy importing.